So off the field, you have a lot of interest in you know various platforms, and I think it's important for people in your position um, to use your influence to show kids who watch you on the field that you can have interests outside of sports. Yeah, yeah, um, and that's what it was for me. I always felt like I was more than just a football player. I felt like football was something that I was blessed to be able to, to do and be able to work at it, but a lot of people don't realize I didn't just roll out of bed and just go out there and be able to like cover and, and make tackles. Like I had to put in a lot of a lot of work to be able to become what I had became. And when the time came to walk away that I would have to be able to like do something else and, it, and I wanted it to be on my choice. When I was in the eighth grade, I gave myself two options. The first option was to become a fresh, professional athlete um, be the very best I can be, save my money, and then buy myself a boat and be able to go fishing whenever I wanted to. Or two, I guess I would have to get a regular job, which was like, you know, a um, police, firefighter, because I was interested in, in, in those. Work until I'm 60, 70, then I'd retire and get me a John John boat and fish the Tennessee River. And that's all it was for me. I didn't know anything else. Like, other people talk about anything else. I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, man. Like, I only, only got two options for me. So on top of all this, you use your sort of public influence for good. I know you're involved in some charity work. Mm, Tell me about right. that. What I'm working with <clears throat> now is um, Charity Water. You can just donate to Charity Water. And what that donation would do, it would go to provide um, clean water for people across, uh, for people in, across the world. And that hits home with me because, you know, growing up, um, first eight years of my life, you know, I didn't have um, running water, so I had to go and, you know, and get water to bring it back. So I understand what that what that feels like and what that what that means. Mm -hmm.